Here's part three of my three-part series on macros and key bindings. There's one more macro that we're going to discuss, and that is the target macro. Uh, if you haven't learned how to use target commands, these are very helpful when you're sent on a quest to find a specific mob, or when you're in an area and you want to look out for a specific mob. So uh, if, let me, uh, actually, I dragged it into my action bar. I'm going to drag it out so that I can show you how to do this. I'm in Silver Pine Forest. Now, most of the mobs around here are around at low teens. I got, uh, well, let's see, right over there is a, a level 10 monster, level 11, they go up to 13, 14. But also patrolling this area is a level 20 elite named mob. So you could be just happily grinding away, be a level 15 or 17 character, and all of a sudden, bang, here's this level 20 elite that pounces on you and kills you in five seconds. So you might want to be able to look out for that guy. So you create a target command, a target uh, macro. Once again, I pressed escape and then click macros. And there it is. This is a and and, and I don't I, I use this throughout the game. I have it in the remember in the general macros tab. The macros you create here are available to all your characters. If you select the right tab, these macros will be available only to the character that you're currently on. Well, I want this in the general macros because all of my characters use this uh, target macro, and it's just as easy. You just type slash, and you could type in the entire word target, or just type T A R as the abbreviation, then then put a space. Now, now of course, the command, the slash T A R, needs to be in lowercase, then a space, and then type in the exact name of the mob you're looking for, and you could put in the name of another player, enemy player, or friendly player, or a mob. Right now, uh, uh, I happen to know that this level 20 elite mob we're looking for to look out for in Silver Pine Forest is named Son of Arugal. So you got to get the name exactly right. Uh, and they, oh, and well, before I forget, let's drag that macro. You don't you don't click here. You, you left click here and drag it into your action bar, wherever you want it. Now let's see if that guy is in the area. You just click the macro. Okay, his portrait didn't pop up. When you click that target macro, if the mob you're looking for, or player, whatever, is within, I think it's 60 yards, then you will target that mob, and, and you'll know that it's within 60 yards. So I know that the son of our you goal is around here somewhere. We're just going to ride around a little bit and find the guy. So if you were lower level, uh, there he is, I almost ran into him. Uh, Let's back away. That was a little too easy. Okay, so I've deselected him. So from back this far away, you can see I clicked the, the target and found him again. So there he is, and he's already targeted. So if you're on a quest to find a mob or you just want to look out for somebody, that's uh, using the target command is a very simple way. Uh, you can also just type target into your chat field. Just bring up the... Uh, the chat window and I'm just gonna do that same thing. I'm gonna type in slash T A R space son of R oops I misspelled it. R U Gall. And then when I press enter, now see I'm out of range for him now, so he doesn't pop up. But that would be the, the, the that's the reason you want to create a macro for it so that you don't have to type that in over and over again. So let's see, where did he go? I'm there he is again. Okay. So that's how to use the target command and the target uh, macro. Very helpful for looking out for or looking for specific mobs. Okay, the last thing we're going to cover is key bindings. And I explained that you could create macros that would uh, fire off more than one ability at once. So I have a specific macro for healing. This uh, fires off a trinket, which increases my health, and also will fire my health stone because a warlock's greatest weakness in battlegrounds is that we're so easy to kill. So I like uh, having so something I can increase my health and get myself out of trouble. Well, it's down here in my action bar. You know, I, I tried putting it someplace that I was I could find it real fast, but still, in the heat of battle in the battleground, your pointer is usually up here in the middle of the screen somewhere. And I found that it split seconds count, you know, in a battleground. So trying to drag down here and find the the macro that I wanted to click on, 
half the time I'd click on the wrong thing or I was already you know, I was stumbling around I had to take my eyes off the screen or focus on finding that macro I decided I wanted to have that in a key binding so that I could find it with my left hand fast I wanted to have this on the F button because usually that's right next to where your index finger usually is. Right? Look at your keyboard. Usually, when you're playing the game, your index finger's on the D. Slide over one button, and I, there, you see, I hit it. So, uh, the way to do that is to change your key bindings. So I press the Escape key, and we bring up key bindings. This window is very intimidating at first because you can see it's a long list of key bindings that you can uh, fool around with. Uh, and sometimes when you change a key binding or you set a key binding, it will unset a default key binding and you'll get an alert. It'll be right here in this little screen down here, this little field in red letters, bright red letters. Watch out, you just unbound some other function. Well, so the way to do it, and of course, the, the up here at the top of the list, these key bindings make sense. It's, you can kind of follow with those and uh, understand them. And as you scroll down, the, the chat functions, if you, just to open the chat field, you press return. That's pretty obvious. And your action bar, 1 through 0 and minus and equals, well, that makes sense. But then as you scroll down a little bit, you see here special action button or secondary action button. What's particularly confusing is a lot of these buttons you will not do anything for you because some of those are, are specific to character types. Uh, for example, the secondary action buttons are for warlocks and hunters. Those That's the bar that controls their pets. Now, I only found that out because I bring my uh, pointer down here and hover over that bar. Those are the this is, These are controls for my pet. And when you hover over those things, look in the bottom right-hand corner. It tells you what the function is. And in parentheses, it shows what the keyboard shortcut is. Well, that's how I figured out that the very first one, the default, was Control-1. So I opened up the key bindings and just dug around until I found Control-1, which is, and, and that's how I figured out that that's the secondary action button bar. So I changed it to F1. I didn't want to have to press two buttons to send my pets to attack. Uh, but that means other things will become unbound. For example, scroll down here for the, uh, the action bars. Now if these action bars on the right and bottom right aren't appearing on your screen at all, then you need to go to the interface and, uh, and make them active. It's very simple. Just go to action bar tab and click on show right action bar, show right action bar 2, show bottom right action bar. So I came down here to the right action bar and you can see the, the put in a bunch of key bindings for for the right action bar. It just count one through twelve, and that's what you got here. Right action bar one through twelve, and I wanted the F key. That's for heal, so that's uh, that's number nine, and I changed it to F. And right above that, my swiftness potion. I wanted that to be R, another button that I could wrap, quickly get to with my index finger without having to look around. Uh, but of course, R, the default for R, is responding to a, a tell, a chat reply. So when I click that and changed it to R right here, you left click on it. So now it's, uh, it's giving me that I can change that. Now I can change it to something else. I'm going to leave it R. But when I changed it the first time, it gave me an a, 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 in you know, red letters down here said, now chat reply is unbound. So, uh, okay, so I scrolled back up to the chat area. And you can see here is chat reply. Well, that had become unbound. So I decided to change it to control R. That's something I could live with. So the way to do this, when you change something and it gives you that error message, we'll scroll up and find the function that you changed and see if that's something that you need to change back. Or you could just reset all of the buttons to default. That's kind of a pain because then you have to start from zero again and do it all over again. But that's uh, in, ca in case you get in trouble, you can reset all of your buttons to default. That's a quick overview of macros and key bindings. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it helped. And here's wishing you many great kills and great loots.